I am Anya from SomaAroma.com and today I want to share how we can use essential oils in um, to diffuse the room but as a spray. So we can use this as a room spray and we can also use it as an aura spray so we can mist around the body and this is what we'll create today. The this is a 100 milliliter bottle and um, you can kind of get them anywhere. This actually used to be a deodorant from Neil's Yard Remedies. So I cleaned that up very well, but it's nice because it's a nice bottle and it's glass um, and it has a, a proper spray. But you can obviously get them uh, nice and distilled as well already in the shops. So I always like to create the blend first in the bottle and then mix in uh, the water and the emulsifier that we are going to use. The oil that I've chosen today is going to be a nice sensuous warming loving blend. So we'll use black pepper which is very nice and warming, it um, kind of helps the blood circulation. We'll use orange which is sweet and you know, you almost start, the saliva starts to work when we, we uh, use that fragrance. We use Ilang Ilang, which is sometimes called the poor man's jasmine. We could use jasmine as well, but jasmine is more expensive. And it has this very floral, very warm, sensuous scent. So Ilang Ilang and jasmine are often used for as an aphrodisiac or used to just make us feel very confident. Um, and then I think we'll put a bit of cypress in as well. I'm going to start with the Ilang Ilang because that's kind of the most heavy scent. It's very floral and I'll start just with four drops. So it's going to be very, um, just low dilutions to start with. Because we can always add more. The problem is if we uh, put too much of an oil in, we can't take it out again. So let's do five drops of the black pepper. Black pepper is another one that's sometimes used as an aphrodisiac, but mainly to uh, help the digestive system. Uh, and we'll put the orange in as well. Orange, the citrus oils, we can put a little bit more in. Oh, oh, comes out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll put tin drops of that in because that's a nice, uh, nice fragrance. And then we can have a little bit of a sniff. We can move our, so it still has that. The orange is the one that comes out first. So let's put three, five drops of cypress in because that's another kind of refreshing. Scent. One, two, three, five. That went very quick. So we'll just make notes as we go along. Five drops. Cypress is, um, I think, it's a wonderful oil if you just feel depleted and tired. It has that. It's a tree, so it grows and it um, gives lots of strength. I'm gonna go a little bit more with the ilang ilang. So I'm gonna put another three drops of ilang ilang. So that will make it seven drops. Do another three. Yeah, then we start to have a little bit more of a, a sensuous fragrance. And then another five black pepper to just warm it up a bit. One, two, three, four, five. So now we have the a little bit of a mix. We can't quite see how much. And I'm gonna put some flower essences in as well because I do love flower essences. And especially when we use it energetically or in the aura as well, um, it's a nice one to use. I'll use the Centauri, which is a nice one if we say yes to everyone but ourselves. So I 
thing for that kind of sensuous um, confidence spray that's a good one to have to say yes to, to our own pleasure and I'll put pine in as well which is a lot about guilt and what we should do and what is right and if we become a little bit rigid in that then that's a good one and then I also I love olive olive is my um, go-to flower isn't so let's put two drops of each olive is good if we're completely exhausted and burned out so it's a little I think of it as a little bit like the um, the cypress they don't have any scent now if you really want to go for it I thought I had some little um, crystals as well you could put crystals in which I don't know where I put I can put them in later so as we have this as an aura spray I'm gonna use the witch hazel as a almost like a preservative but also to help um, mix the oil with the water I'll, somewhere between a fifth or a quarter is a good way to blend that in I'll just swirl that around a little bit so that's the witch hazel so sometimes I use alcohol like uh, vodka you could use um, if I don't use it on the skin or in the room if I use it more for cleaning I would use white vinegar and then I'm going to use um, just distilled water and I'll do it like this and usually just put it up to where the shoulders of the bottle and I'll put the measurements um, in the text so you can see how it ends up there we go yeah that's a nice blend so there we go we'll put the spray on give it a good shake and do shake it every time you use it because even though we put the witch hazel in it is blended with a lot of water so it it will kind of um, it won't be completely mixed after a while so give it a good mix and then after a little while you can use it ah, as a room spray you could use it like this one with Ilang Ilang which is the you could use this a little bit like a spray in the bedroom on the bed linen but a very nice very nice scent so you could just use that in the room or on your I wouldn't put it directly on the body but just uh, as a spray so a very nice floral warm sensuous scent so enjoy it and I'll give you the details below and obviously do have a look on somaaroma.com for more details or if you want to learn a little bit more you can join me as well on uh, on my online course which is yogaembodiedonline.com and you can see the essential oils and other courses as well so have fun with playing around with your essential oils